What's up, Squirtle Squad? Welcome back to another video. And so today we have the brand new Paldean Partners tins. There is three in total, one for every starter Pokemon. We have Meowskarada, we have Skeledurge, and we have Quaquavel. And inside each of these, there is five TCG booster packs, one promo card, as well as one code for the PTCG Live. But before we get into that, if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. We definitely could use you over here in the Squirtle Squad. We're trying to get over to 1,000 subscribers, and I know we can get there. And I'm going to need your help, though. So if you guys like this video, like this kind of content, please hit that button for me. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, all right. So we have our three tins of the three starter Pokemon. We're going to go ahead and start with Meowskarada. We're going to go ahead and start with Meowskarada because, of course, it's the first one of the three. Let's go ahead and see what we have inside. Of course... As to be expected, we get the nice promo card of the Meowskarada EX, which might become a very playable card. I don't know. We're going to have to see what happens. But I know Dark Charizard is weak to grass, so there could be some potentials there. Got that code card if you do need that. And it looks like the booster packs we're going to get are Obsidian Flames, two of them, Scarlet and Violet, Silver Tempest, and Astral Radiance. All right, we're gonna go ahead and open these four packs here and we're gonna go ahead and do them in order. Actually, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see if, cause we only need a few more two cards for Obsidian Flames. Only need a couple more cards and then we will have mastered this set. So hopefully we could get them in these tins. That would be truly epic. We have Astini, Tadbull, Houndor, Lycanroc, Probopass, Vengeful Punch, Wiglet Reverse. We have a Ball Toy and Claydol for the hollow so nothing too crazy in that one let's see if we get anything out of this obsidian flames pack all it takes is one charizard and then this whole box is worth it but we got a cleffa larvitar varum combi wugtrio kangaskhan wishcash letter of encouragement we have a float soul and a dark cry so nothing out of the obsidian flames so maybe that means we're going to pull something from the Scarlet and Violet pack. Maybe that's what that means. I'm curious to know which one is your guys' favorite. Are you a fan of Meowskarada, Quaycoca, or Skeledurge, or Quaquavel? Which one is your favorite of the three starter Pokemon? We got a Sandaconda, Pokeball Reverse, and an Armor Rouge. All right, so for the Scarlet and Violet era, we are not doing too good. Not on those ones, at least. All right, and we got some code cards. Oops. And this one is Silver Tempest. Got a Finnekin, Durant, Amolga, Beldum, Stunfisk, Pharaoh Seed Reverse, and a Frostlass for the rare. And all those goodies hidden behind it. All right, down to Astral Radiance. Can we get anything from this Meowskarada tin? Or did I buy a bad tin? That's what we're here to find out. You know what? No, we're just going to keep going. We got a Quillfish, Petlil, Nicket, Hippotas, Cyndaquil, Noctowl Reverse, and an Arvalug for that one. All right, so Meowskarada did not have anything inside it. All right. I guess it's Skeledurge's turn. And as I was saying, Skeledurge has to be my favorite Paldean starter Pokemon. I mean, what's not to like about this Fire Lizard? Why do, why do we like the other Fire Lizard more than this Fire Lizard? Dare I say this shiny is even cooler. I'm just kidding. I just made a bunch of people mad in the comments. But <laughs> but anyway, we got the Varum pack up next for the Skeleters to start it off. And if you haven't watched any of the other videos, the Varum pack arts seem to be my most lucky packs. So we're going to see if this one holds true. We got an Arvin, Stunfisk, Houndor Reverse. We have a Patrol Cap and an Entei. 
Okay, so maybe not this one in particular. But we do have a Charizard. And I would love to pull a Charizard from the Charizard pack. I think that's a dream every Pokemon trainer always has dreamed of. But we got an Inkay, Dugtrio, Houndstone, Diggersby, Toadscrawl, Paldean Clodsire, and Toxtricity. All right. Are we going to just strike out on all these packs? Or did I just get a bunch of bad packs? I don't know. Watch, and then like, in a couple days, there's going to be like this uh, reveal that certain parts of the country are going to get like loaded packs. But we got Rock Chestplate, Team Star Grunt, Krogunk Reverse, we got a Mesa Goza, and a Meowscarada for that one. All right, well, so far, 0-2. Oh right. We're gonna see how this goes, but so far, 0-2 oh on these packs. We got Beldum, Baltoy, Sunkern, Famfy, Rapidash, and a Miss Magus for the Hollow. All right, we got one Astral Radiance. Can we get at least one ultra rare hit? I'll even take a trainer gallery if there is a trainer gallery in these sets. We got Cyndaquil, Ponyard, Growlithe, Voltorb, Glaceon, and a Bastiodon for the Hollow. You know, with Scarlet and Violet giving you so many guaranteed hits it, or making Hollows feel less like a hit, it kind of it feels like it kind of ruins the effect when I do open older packs. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy. All right, so we got our Quaquavel EX box next. Can this one deliver us and give us something good, something epic? We got the Quaquavel EX promo card. And that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and set that right there. And now we got another Rev of Room pack. Another Rev of Room. Can we get, at this point, I just want to get the SIR Charizard, because then it'd feel like I got something crazy out of these. But, so far I did not get very good pulls. Can Quaquavel save the day? Got a Breenzel, Wooper, Togetic, Volcarona, Poltegeist, Buffalant, we have a Town Store, and a Claydol once again. All right, one more Obsidian Flames pack. One more. Will it get anything epic? We got a Bound Sweet, Froki, Darumaka, Sun Surskit, Pidgeotto, Dragonair, Armor Rouge, Probopass Reverse, Clefairy Reverse, and a Maridon EX with an Electric Energy. That's always nice to see right behind it. At least we got something. At least we got something so far. Coming from the Quaquavel pack. Or Quaquavel tin, I should say. But we have one more code card coming from Scarlet and Violet. Let me know if you guys are still collecting Scarlet and Violet or if you guys have moved on and are just waiting for the next set. We got a Florgis, Picnic Basket, and a Maridon again. But this one just the normal hollow version. All right. So we got Silver Tempest up next, and then Astral Radiance after that. And we got Ponyta, Venonat, Dewpider, Spinda, Vivas, Golbat Reverse, and a Zygarde for the non hollow. And for our last pack, we have Astral Radiance. Can it come in clutch? Can it give us one more ultra rare hit? One more ultra rare hit. That's all we need. We got a Bergmite, Hippotus, Cyndaquil, Ponyard, Petlil, and a Sneasler V. So we at least got one. At least we got a couple good things out of that last Quaquavel pack. But the first two, not so great. So really only got those two hits for the video. 
with those tins being about $30 each, um, I mean, the packs you get inside are okay. Um, I mean, of course, if you pull a Charizard, it instantly makes it worth it. Again, if you pull like an alternate Art Lugia or pull any really of the crazy hit card, like chase cards, you know, that could make it worth it. I think Gardevoir is even $30 still. If you guys see these in stores and want to buy it, I say it's definitely worth it. I like opening packs and seeing what we get. The chase is definitely the reason why we play. So I had a lot of fun. Hope you guys did too. And let me know down below if you guys are going to buy one of these. But uh, till next time, I hope you all be safe and be ready for something special. Because tomorrow is day number 30.